Hello and welcome to another video. Today's topic is custom URLs, dashboards specifically. We're going to use URLs to embed them in a dashboard to link to other reports, whether for export or for just simple linking and making a report or a dashboard more user friendly. We have two uh, web environments, uh, .NET or Java. It depends on what your web server is running on. The syntax might be a little bit different, just a little bit different. One was using, will be using the ASP and one will be using the uh, servlets code. And either way, you need the object ID of your target. That's important to know how to get your object ID within the desktop. Just right clicking and looking at properties will get you that information. In the web, it is similar. You're just going to go and look at the properties of an item. Every item in Microsoft has an object ID that is unique to that object. And you can get it from here as well. You can also get this URL, which will be a complete URL for running this report, for instance, and actually if you click on it, it will run. But if you want to copy it, just go get a copy of the link address to reuse it in embedding a URL into another source. Okay. What's important in these URLs is that you need your web server, not your iServer. You also need the specific syntax depending on what type of web server it is. You also need your iServer and the project information your project name could be Microsoft strategy tutorial etc you need an event the event is associated with what are you running as a target if it's a report it's 4001 there's a plenty of uh, different events you can look into the SDK documentation if you have specific needs but the most common ones are the report and the document ID which runs a dashboard for you and that's the object ID that we were just talking about momentarily so with all that information, you're ready to create your URL. Um, again, just be cautious that no spaces, no gaps are allowed and all syntax has to be correct and spelled correctly. And again, if you're not using the .NET, you're using a Java, just make sure that you change those two pieces of information that we just talked about. If you want to put something in a public uh, location where for users that don't have user IDs and passwords to use, you're going to have to embed the user ID and the password in the URL. Just be cautious. Don't share an admin password and user ID. Make sure to create a, a demo user ID and password for these kind of purposes. Okay. And just enter your information at the end. I'm going to use a dashboard that I created. I created a text box, labeled it with action, and I'm going to go to the properties and embed a URL. I'm going to make it a hyperlink, it's in the general hyperlink, and I want it to open in a new box, and I'm going to embed the URL. You can embed the complete URL or the portion of the URL starting with the main uh, keyword. So you can all or main. You could drop even the iServer name and the project source name because it will inherit it from within the, uh, the source that you have. What's critical is the object ID, obviously. Getting that right is always critical. You can uh, paste the whole URL or the short URL up here with all its keywords. You don't have to go ahead and type it in here. It's easier to use Word or Notepad to type them before you, you uh, create those URLs. And then you're ready to execute once you have the correct object ID. And in this case, we're linking the source dashboard to a target dashboard. Very straightforward. Remember, if you're running a report, not a dashboard, if you're link, it depends on what you're linking to. You might want to change. You have to change the event uh, type. So the event two o four eight o o one is for documents and dashboards. Four zero zero one is for reports. Uh, if you don't get it right, it won't run. Okay. Let's go ahead and look at our action button here and see what we have let's replace this with a different one and add this option message id by doing that if our source and target are prompted we don't have to get prompted every time we run the report it'll pass the source prompt answers into the target this is very convenient when drawing when building a unique environment or a, a complete environment you don't need to have the user re prompt every time they click on one of those links okay so the origin message ID will take care of that in its format and using the and percent document message ID just as uh, as you see on the screen you also can just generate exports 
Uh, if you want the, to run the report or a dashboard that you're linking to in a different format, like an Excel or a PDF, you have to use a different event. In this case, we use the 3067 event uh, for Excel with a fast export enabled. And the property here, we're just going to grab the idea of the report that we want to use if we're using a report in our Excel. And we add that component and then we can copy and paste this into our new action button, URL, there we go. And we're going to rename, Let's try it out. And it's on top of my report, unfortunately, but you get the idea. Here's the export options, export, it's going to run and download. And there's your Excel report in your export and report in Excel. Okay. With all its tabs. But the other common way of exporting is using the PDF. So let's look at that. Let's go and get a PDF export. Um, again, it's similar. It's just got a different event ID, okay? And here I am exporting a report as a PDF, for example. Report view mode that you see here is um, set to one, which is a grid. It could be set to two, it's a graph or three grid graph. If you leave it at, if you don't include that report view mode, it's okay. It'll run by default as the first report view mode, which is one. So it's, but it's better to have it if you're trying to control how your PDF or what's displayed in your PDF. Just a good behavior sometimes to include these things, but not always necessary. Let me use this uh, URL and I'm going to embed it or the script, embed it in the URL target, the hyperlink and test it out export there we go automatically now my uh, output produces a pdf and if i want to export another document rather than another report it's similar but remember I, instead of using the report id code i'm using the document id and it has a separate event in this case it's 3069 embed that and then test it out and see what happens Okay, here we go. And that's our exported dashboard rather than an exported report. It's simple one panel. Thank you very much for watching this video.